Okay, it's not Wednesday, but I wanted to get a quick clip before I start clipping. Um, I am going to try and get this under control. Um, I'm going to take off any vines that are not producing or don't have flowers on them. And I'm literally going to pull them out. Some of these had been um, thrown back on here. And they're not producing anything. So we're pretty much going to clip those out and go from there. So um, I'm not going to disturb this one here that's got all the flowers on it. But anyway, you get the point. I'm going to take these and clip them back. If they don't produce anything, don't have any flowers on it. Um, I've got to get this under control. It was supposed to be the square from this T-post to that T-post to that T-post over there and that one. And it was never supposed to get out this far. So we'll see what I can make of it. Um, the yellow flowers are loofah gourds, so I won't be hurting any of those vines. So, um, yeah, as you can tell, they're everywhere. I have pollinated. Oh, there's a zucchini in there. Anyway. So I'm going to put this on the front clip of our um, Wednesday thing. So this was actually taken Monday, and then you can come back and you can see it Wednesday. Okay, so here's Miss Piggy's garden update. <laughs> this thing is huge. Um, we're just letting it go. <laughs> I'm not messing with it. I'm not messing with it. She's got one down in there. She's got one there that's really orange. It's all right. all right. She's very protective of her. She's got another one in there. She's got another one way over there. Um, I think there was another one someplace. Lots of blooms still coming in on it. Oh, there it is. There's another one. She is just growing these things like crazy. So, um, yeah. I know. Miss Buttercup's going to enter it in the fair, aren't you? All right. So, she's got quite a few of these, I guess, gourds or pumpkins. It's been disputed. But anyway, now off to my garden. You can see how huge this thing is. <laughs> the pig's an awesome gardener. She's over there fussing. See, I, I mess. You can see the grass moving. She's making sure I'm not getting into anything. Look at her over there. It's all right, pig. Come on. Look, she's like, what did she touch? <laughs> she hates me messing in her garden. Oh, well. Okay, so I have this new phone, so I'm hoping that I'm blocking the wind. We're down here. Um, you saw the pig's garden. No, I haven't gotten this done, but I have gotten the mowing and reclaimed a lot of stuff. So I've been working. Here is my spinach. I've got a couple of other plants growing up. They're doing wonderful. Um, a little late coming in on these, but I'm okay with that. This thing is just going crazy, and I don't know why, but I just think it's so, oops, sorry. I just think it's so pretty with the flowers and all that stuff. I don't know, and it, it's climbing spinach, just so you know. It's got another name, but I don't know it. Um, I didn't get down here and get um, the things watered today, so I need to stake these up. Um, it is what it is, you know what I mean? So I will get some stakes and get them put up. Uh, we've got one cantaloupe down here and it's coming on. This I'm kind of letting go. Um, it's still hanging on there, still giving cucumbers. I'm tired of cucumbers, don't tell anybody, but really tired of cucumbers. Um, these strawberries, I'm gonna move them, but as you can tell, they are still producing little strawberries in there. So yeah, um, I, came down here weeded out and and I like to take this right here and this is actually the seed for next year's crop I mean the roots stay but I like to dump it in there and get it really good and established so I've been doing that kind of popping some of these heads and uh, I guess deadheading is what it's called anyway I've been doing that I don't know why I just love that um found the bench the sage is over there doing wonderful Harvested all the apples, um, and on this one, I think I've got a couple more pears that I missed when I went, but oh well. Now this right here, <laughs> I know it still looks like Vine City, but as you saw in the other video, 
I came down here and I snipped back vines. So <laughs> this is watermelon. I don't even know how it got up there. Um, but I am snipping back, getting things under control, getting it back to where it was. Um, this is a zucchini plant and it's still producing flowers. It doesn't have any fruit in there right now. Um, but I've been kind of looking through here, trying to find fruits. It's doing okay. I, I'm, it, it's fine. It is what it is. Um, you can see the loofah gourds are producing a ton of flowers. So I'm hoping that we'll have a ton of those. You can tell where I've disturbed the watermelon vine. Um, like I said, I didn't get a chance to come out here and water this morning because RJ had his court. But I also found a bell pepper plant. <laughs> there is nothing on it. But, hey, there's little flowers right there. I'm going to hold out hope, right? There were supposed to be two others, I think. And if I'm not mistaken, no, no, yeah, that might be one right there. But it's very, very buried. So, anyway, yeah, this is my rake. I was using it to pull vines out. Um, I've got all this under control. Got this half under control. So I just have to kind of get it back under control. It's getting there. The rest of it's mowed. Um, I am going to work. I got this done halfway. Um, I've still got to clean up, mow. You can see all the piles of grass. Uh, found the strawberries over here. Like I said, no watering has taken place today. But um, they're hanging in there. I, I don't know if I'm just not watering them enough. But I have a couple of plants that are just kind of looking shabby. So, um, and it could be that I had to pull back all the um, grass. And when they got sunlight, maybe they went into shock or something. I don't know. But most of them are looking pretty good. I'm still looking a little wilted. Again, didn't get watered this morning, so we'll see how that goes. Um, found the two things right there. I'm going to plant marigolds in those this fall. When it starts to cool down, I'm going to plant them um, underneath so that they come up in the spring next year. Um, and then, I oh, guess the wind got a little crazy here. There we go. All right. Ta da, the birdhouses. My next thing is to get this under control. Someplace under here, there's actually a tomato cage. There's some tomato. Oh, there's a tomato. Look at that. We're just going to pick that baby right off of it. <laughs> there was some others. This is, this is another vine city that has just kind of taken over and not really done what it's supposed to do. But hey, I got a tomato. Um... <laughs> But next year, this will be herbs. Um, I'm going to actually take some time and, and do things, mark things, and make sure that the kids get the right seeds in the right area. I could have swore I pulled up this acorn plant. <laughs> or, yep. Well, I thought I did. So I'll have to pick that stuff up when I go back up. Those are acorn squash. Um, so, yeah. It's been, and here's zucchini, and this thing is still producing. Oh, there's two more little ones down there. It broke that one. Ugh. Yes, just what you guys wanted to do was see me harvest some zucchinis, huh? But these are young, and I'm going to make them into, um, what do you call it? Chips. So, and I kind of broke that one down a little low, but that's okay, because I'm going to go right in and start dehydrating them. Something that I wanted to try, and I wanted to make sure that I got them young, because they, they were better that way. I've got some dead leaves in there. Ah! <laughs> and you guys just took a dive. Sorry. Anyway, so there's a bunch of stuff in here um, that I have to sort through and get the vines um, snipped back. These vines right here that aren't producing any flowers or anything, they're going to be clipped back. Um, yeah. We're getting under control. It's 100% better than it was, so I'm good with that. There's Murphy! I know, back to the garden. Um, there's the kitty cats. I have lots of help when I'm out here. Um, so, 
Anyway, this little vine city, I guess that's a town and this is a city, but we're going to get them under control. I'm working too. I just have to figure out, um, I figured out what to take, what, what to take and what not to take on the loofah gourds. So, but I don't know for watermelon. See that whole vine just falling down there. That's watermelon. I don't think watermelon can grow like that. I don't even know. Anyway, there's your weekly update. And I will check in with you again next week.